Skin lumps and lesions are extremely common, particularly on the genitals, and many of them are completely normal. But how can you tell for sure? Stick around to listen and learn. Hi guys, I'm Lane, your friendly doctor on demand for fun and factual health education. Almost daily, I have guys who present feeling really anxious because they've noticed lumps down below and they think that they have genital warts, but often they don't. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the common genital lumps I see as a GP and talk to you about what to do if you are worried. Now, just a trigger warning, this video does contain nudity. When you look at the genitals up close, you'll notice that skin lumps are actually pretty common. If you take a look at the skin on the scrotum, for example, you might notice these small bumps that look a little bit like sesame seeds. These are called Fordyce spots, and they are completely normal. In fact, about 80% of people have Fordyce spots on the genitals or even on the mouth. Fordyce spots can become more obvious after puberty, and they're often mistaken for warts. So your homework is to go find a quiet place have a look down below and see if you can locate any Fordyce spots. Now, while you're doing that, check out the head of the penis. Right around the rim, you might notice these tiny little bumps. These are called pearly penile papules, and they are also completely normal. As are these tiny little bumps that you might notice here. These ones are called Tyson's glands. You normally see these in uncircumcised men on either side of the frenulum. So there you have it, three common types of genital lumps that are completely harmless. But what about these, or these? Well, the first are genital warts, and the second is something we called molluscum contagiosum. Both of these types of lumps are caused by viruses, genital warts by the human papillomavirus, or HPV, and molluscum contagiosum by a virus called MCV. Now, they can be difficult to tell the difference, but if you have a look, whereas genital warts tend to be rough and almost like cauliflower in their appearance, molluscum are typically a lot more smooth and have a central spot. Now, both genital warts and molluscum can easily spread from person to person wherever there's skin-to-skin -skin contact, like with sex. And then we have these lumps, which are red and slightly raised. This could be herpes, but it's more likely to be what we call folliculitis, or inflammation of the hair follicles. This is very commonly seen in people who shave their pubic hair because the short hairs can become ingrown and then the follicles can become red and inflamed. And finally, there's this. Now you might struggle to see it on the photo, but if you look closely, you might see this raised lump just here. This is what we call a lymphocele. It feels firm and rubbery. Lymphocele's are commonly caused by friction, for example, from having sex, and they can be tender. But the good news is they normally just go away on their own. So all that said, what do you do if you notice a lump on your genitals? Well, the most important thing as always, is to go and get it checked. Now, this video is not intended to replace independent medical advice, but more so to demonstrate that genital lumps are extremely common. As doctors, we can normally give you a diagnosis on the spot just from looking at the lump. Now, if you do discover that you have genital warts, don't panic. These are very common and they can be treated. Your GP should be able to talk through all the different options with you, um, which might include some creams or trying something called cryotherapy, which is a essentially freezing them off with liquid nitrogen. Now, while we're on the topic of genital lumps and lesions, check out my next video by clicking on the link on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new content. Stay healthy guys and see you soon.